But first, it's time for that cold start. Let me tell you, these seats are somewhat of a mission to get out of. I struggle every single time going in and out. So here's my baby. So excited to have this car. So let me just do a quick walk around and show you. This color is shadow black with the blue vinyl stripes. I was actually looking for an avalanche gray. I always thought that when I got a 350, let me get an avalanche gray because I love that color. I still do, but once I saw this color, I was just obsessed. Like that is what caught my eye. So I'm, so, I'm absolutely in love with it. And just like a few reasons like why, like I got this car opposed to like my GT. There was nothing wrong with my GT. Um, I absolutely love that car as well. But this car, just like the whole different look of it, like the front bumper is obviously different. Um, you know, the grill with the Cobra rims are different. Really, um, really like these rims. The fenders and also the spoiler. It comes with this spoiler right here. And I absolutely love it. And obviously the quad exhaust as opposed to the dual exhaust from the GT. I just think it looks very mean and badass. Like, oh, <laughs> absolutely love it. Oh, and here, um, this hood scoop right there, which I just think it, everything, every single detail about this car just absolutely makes the car. And let's go for the interior. So I decided um, to get the package that came with the Recaro seats because I thought if I'm going to have, you know, a track car, a race car, I have to have the seats. Absolutely love the seats. They are very comfortable once you're in them. Like they hug you and it just feels right when you're driving. But to get out, this part right here is a mission. Well, actually to get in and to get out for like any person, doesn't matter if you're like short or tall, I'm 5'5", five five. I have a struggle, I've had some friends um, as tall as 6'3", definitely a struggle there too, but I really, really do um, enjoy this and I don't regret it, um, getting the seats as opposed to like um, just getting the leather seats that are heated and cold seats, I'd rather just have my racing seats. So the interior, obviously this is... Um, a bit different from my GT. This was like a different color. A, yeah, that's about pretty much it on this side. It has um, the chassis number right there. And this is pretty much the same. I have the bigger screen, which I think that comes um, standard from 2017 or 2018 and up. And, you know, your cup holders, which it actually really um, bothers me. Like, if I put a cup here and I'm trying to shift, it bothers me a lot. So I just tend to, like, just put one cup here and, like, either my phone or my keys here. Something that just won't bother me as I'm shifting. And I actually did not notice this. Let me peel that out. And let's see, the back seat is actually... It's, you know, pretty much the same as in any Mustang. It's not that really much space in the back. 
So that's your typical standard. We move this back. And let's go to the driver's side. So again, it's just uh, your Recaro and the steering wheel is this nice Alcantara steering wheel and you have your Cobra, which I really do love that in my GT. Had a little pony, but I really love seeing this Cobra. So 